Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show how to install Raspberry Pi OS and um, to do some initial setups. Um, this is for the beginners who don't know how to do much. Um, so I hope this is helpful for you guys. So what you need to do first is um, go to the link that's in the description. Um, download the Raspberry Pi Imager. You can download it for Mac, Ubuntu, or Windows, whatever operating system you're using. Um, so you, I'm just going to click that for Windows. Click Save. And it's done. When it's done, just click on it. Click yes. And um, um, then click install to start the installation. And then it will just install it for you. Mine's already installed. That's why I'm not going to. I'm going to do that and then open up the Raspberry Pi Imager when you're done installing it. Choose OS. I would recommend this one, this th one, but if you want to have um, apps and stuff, this image is bigger and it has all these apps in already installed. I don't really use those apps, so I don't need this one. So I'm just going to go with this one. Then choose SD card. Uh, and here, mine's a 16 gigabyte SD card, so I just choose that one and I click right. Oops, and click yes. And now I just have to wait for it to finish flashing. It takes around like 10 minutes or something. So um, now you just have to wait for it and then plug it in your Pi and boot it up. So I booted up and I got to this screen. So from here you can basically just set it up like a computer. Um, I have an ethernet cable, that's why it shows the Wi-Fi internet. So I'm just going to click United States, use English language, use US keyboard, and I hit next. And now it just set, sets the location for you. And you can change the password if you want. I'm not going to do that right now. Mine's good, uh, but if you have black lines, you should click this, but I don't. So I'm just going to click next. You can set up your Wi-Fi if you want. You, I'm, I just skip that, and the setup complete, so I just go later. One thing you should always do after a new setup is go sudo apt update. And just let it update the system for you because this um, version is from May 2020. They haven't updated it since May, so there's a lot of updates. Look, it says 103 packages. That's a lot. Now type sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter and then click Y. And just wait for it to finish upgrading your system for you. Yeah, so while that's updating, um, it takes a while. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show some other stuff. So I'm going to go desktop preferences. Like this. Right click desktop preferences. Go to, um, you can click on here. I like this canyon. It looks pretty cool. Or you can try um, mountain. That looks nice. Bridge. There's tons of different pictures on here that you can just change to whatever you like and whatever you think looks better. Um. So I'm just gonna click. O I'm gonna click OK, and then I'm gonna right click on here. Panel settings. I like this at the bottom more. And then I go to appearance and make it a solid color. Look, as you see, it looks really nicely. Like, you don't see that white bar at all. It just blends in with the wallpaper. So that's the reason I kind of like that. And then another thing, panel settings again. Panel applets. And I go to add. And I go um, CPU temperature monitor. And then right here on the edge, it shows how hot my CPU is getting. And then there's tons of these you can add, like this magnifier, you can add. Mm. Uh, yeah, so, and then um, the internet chromium, so when you first open up chromium, I make it big and then I close this, and it comes up with this research thing, you can do it if you want, but I, I usually go to settings. 
Um, the default browser is DuckDuckGo in here, but I like Google more. So I just click Google, and then close that up. And now I can search and do whatever I want to do. Hmm. So, it's, as you see, the update does take a while. Um... Okay, so my update's done. So it's up. Uh, my whole system's been updated now. Um, now I'm just going to show some apps that you should definitely install on your Raspberry Pi OS. Um, Gparted is really important for me because I use it to um, shrink partitions, format, all types of stuff. So sudo opt install Gparted is what you need to type. Hit enter when prompt and click Y and now it's gonna start installing G parted for us. Okay, it's done installing now, so I can go to system tools G parted and now you just type in your password. I didn't change mine so it's Raspberry, but if you did type that. Yeah, this is Gparted, as you see, this is what kind of thing it is. Um, another, the, uh, like, for me, the most important app on Raspberry Pi OS is PyKiss. Because you can install tons of stuff with that. Yeah, I would, you'd, like, definitely need it. There's tons of apps and stuff you can install with the click of a button. So just go down here, copy this command, copy, paste it in the terminal. Hit enter. And just let it install. And it's done now. So now I can go right here, System Tools, PyCus. As you see, this is what kind of thing it is. So you can just go to games, install tons of games, emulation, tweaks, internet, tons of different apps um i i reviewed it in a different video you should check that video out um another thing if you don't like chromium that much you can install firefox so this is how you can install it sudo apt install firefox dash esr like that hit enter when prompt and click y and now it's going to start installing Firefox for you. Okay, so Firefox is done installing now. So, internet, as you see, I have Firefox and I have Chromium now. So I have two browsers that I can select from. Um, another thing that we, um, the flash SD cards from your Raspberry Pi, you can use Etcher, which is really useful. So all you do is just copy these commands. This will be in the description. Paste it. And then just wait for it to finish installing Etcher for you. Yeah, so when you get to this part, just hit enter. And now um, it's just going to install um, Etcher for us on our Raspberry Pi. So it's done now. Um, if I go to accessories, Etcher is here. So Etcher does take a little bit to launch, but that's just because it's a little. It takes a long time. So yeah, as you see, now we have Etcher running on our Pi, which is very useful. Another useful tool is Raspberry Pi Imager. So sudo apt install. Imager. Hit enter. Why? That's 
that's done. So uh, now in accessories we have Imager. As you see, we can choose the OS and it works great. Yeah. Um, so web browser works. Everything works great. So I hope this video is helpful for you beginners who um, need to know how to set up Raspberry Pi OS on your Raspberry Pi 4. Um, if you like, if you have any questions about anything, please tell me in the comments. Um, and don't forget to like and share this video.